guess where I am right now? Our next guest, because you know, I'm on a road trip and I'm interviewing a bunch of dreadlock artists. Our next guest lives right over there. I'm in her driveway. <laughs> she even made me a coffee this morning. There's nowhere to camp in Ohio, okay? So yeah, camped in her driveway and she let me take a shower in her house and her dogs are really cute. And let's go see her salon. My name is Liz and I'm a dreadlock artist from New Hampshire. One of the things I'm passionate about is building a stronger dreadlock community. So this spring, I randomly decided to hit the road for a couple of weeks and just connect with a bunch of other dreadlock artists. I filmed it all and now I'm here to share their stories with you. Here it's amazing. Okay. <laughs> got me back, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> there she is! <laughs> Hi, I brought donuts. Aww. Do you eat Where donuts? Do you go? Fort yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> that was the place to go. Oh my god, your shirt! Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even realize that this morning. Hi, I'm Liz from Liz Locked. I am in Finley, Ohio, and I've been doing dreadlocks since 2019. And I've had dreadlocks since I think 2017 when I got a few peekaboos from Tannis. She was in Columbus originally. Now she's in Marysville. We're gonna get to meet her. Yeah, oh, Tannis <laughs> is awesome. I went to Tannis here and there, but I think I just started like looking on YouTube and researching and all that, trying to do it myself more so. In 2017, I got my nail license, so I was doing nails and kept liking my dreads. I maybe had like shoulder length hair when I did those, so I just kept growing my hair, adding more, I would have extensions. I had like creative color a lot at the beginning of my dreads, and then I found Say and Style. Anne Marie and she taught a class online and it's go at your own pace and then I had to figure out through the state how to apply to do dreadlocks and under Ohio it's considered braiding so then my hours of the modules from Sand Style course transferred to the braiding license so I have like a it's called a boutique license and then braiding is the category so i hold like three different licenses i hold the independent contractor that you have to have in ohio to work for yourself and then the manicurist license and then the boutique braiding license my schedule is right now i was telling liz earlier it's kind of like 60 40. i do nails tuesday thursday friday saturday and then Drug clients I take Monday, Wednesday, Sunday. Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, so. And do you take a day off? I, if I don't have drug clients, I have like Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, or when you make your own schedule, it's like you kind of screw yourself over sometimes and don't give yourself enough time off, but I find time eventually. It works out. <laughs> So the dreadlock services I offer, I offer maintenance. So I only offer natural dreads. I don't offer synthetics or braidens. I offer partials, peekaboos, pet dreads, and I do human hair extensions, full heads, repair. If you are wanting to book Liz Locked on Instagram, you can just message me. I'll get with you when I can. I normally have a good response time, I think. I try and get back with people right away. All right, I think I'm ready for a little tour. Are you gonna get, show me around? Yeah, okay. I guess. <laughs> There's not much to show. <laughs> this is my mini fridge that I have all my drinks in for everybody. Sometimes, my coworkers just come grab drinks <laughs> These are all my wraps. These ones are Treasures by Tay from Florida. And then I've made some of these. Those are beautiful. I loved your tutorial on them. So. Oh good, I'm glad that was helpful, especially since I've been neglecting you guys. Liz is a <laughs> subscriber on Instagram. Um, I have some candy stickers. People I know, their business cards. I make jewelry in my free time, and I have little bracelets and anklets for sale. You literally do this everything. Is my, <laughs> this is my chair, you know, where the magic happens. <laughs> All the beads, 
some for purchase. These ones are for free that my clients can just have when I do their dreads if they want to choose some. They're just a random mix of metals and wood. Then I have coloring books because dreadlocks take long sometimes. That's a great so idea. I have colored pencils and different books. <laughs> Also for kids, if kids are in here and get bored sometimes. That's a great and idea. And then the wrapping yarn for all the dreads and some for the bracelets, I guess. But some people like the embroidery thread on their dreads. And then from the Restore store, I got this cute little sun. It says what is I'm it very say? fond of you. <laughs> and my hair dryer. This came, this comes with the studio. So like this chair, this mat, this. And the sink and the Just, trolley all oh, um, wow. really rent here. That's cool. And then I have my sign. I recognize sign. that. I love it. So my client Trixie made it. Yes. I know. <laughs> yes. And then yeah, my trolley station just I'm not going to open that. Yeah, that's because <laughs> right. I'm not organized like Liz. But I guess there's like my tool bag and I was going to say if you need rubber bands or anything to do my hair clips, <laughs> combs, lots of combs, <laughs> and then I have hair in here and hair in here for my different clients. Like I have, I do have like tags. I don't know how you keep track of what your clients extension hair colors, but I keep tags of like their names with the... Okay, that... Uh, is one area I'm not organized in. If you're my client, I have no idea. I just wait till you come in. I'm like, hmm, I think it looks like this one. Yeah. Why don't I have a stack like you of hair? So true, if true. I need to build, if I need to get more of their hair, that way I know whose yeah. hair is what. Yeah, no, that's a brilliant idea, actually, with the tags. This mirror came with the shop, too, in the sink. Wait. <laughs> I need to get in this chair that's really cool. <laughs> It's like a trampoline chair. Bungee chair. <laughs> and then my cabinets, I have my towels in here for my nails. It's like my files and buffers and... A lot more stuff you yes, need for nails. nails, right? Yes. Yeah. So speaking of, then we make our way over to this side of the room. Yes. It's like a whole nother space over there. This is my nail space. I just do gel polish, just natural nails. Yeah. And not my new TV. Oh yeah, do you do you ever watch? Listen to music. I can play Spotify. Sometimes I watch shows. <laughs> All right, and I have now busted out my tool belt for the first time on this trip because I get to do Liz's hair today. First what? time since Rolly. Like Which was how long ago? Like 2021, fall of 2021. It's like, yeah. Let me just see what we're working with here. I'm growing. growing They're really... Place. Side considering side. it's been that long well, I work on them oh I you do like I don't consider yourself like maintenance. like a true maintenance yeah, yeah. um they look yeah, really good me. like I can't like get all the hairs in so we're doing maintenance and then what else are we doing just those uh I grew out my side cut so I want Liz to just add like a few new I added oh, one yeah. over here like this one was like where I put the that one, but then yeah, just my. All right, here we go. Let's roll. I know. You do a nice job though on yourself. You really do. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Tell me what you said earlier. Did that hurt? No. <laughs> She's gentle and it doesn't hurt. So she good. says anyway. My clients yeah. might not agree. <laughs> no, it's good. It's great. All right. It was an honor to do your hair. Yes, thank you for coming to see me. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks for hosting me yes. last night in your driveway. Yes. And making me coffee Anytime. this morning. Anytime. All right, now next time you have to come to New Hampshire. Yes. yes. Or I'll see you in Florida, maybe, at yes. some point. Yes, either one. Yes. <laughs> All right, see you on the next Bye. one.
And before I go, I want to thank all of the sponsors, everyone that has contributed something towards this trip, which has really helped to make all of this possible. Thank you guys so, so much.